So how did the sleep go? Did you bag seven or eight hours sleep or did something stop you from sleeping soundly? And if it did, do you know what that was? It could be so many things. It could be stress, we know, really manifests itself. Um, if you suffer from anxiety, it could be that if you are going for the menopause and ladies, uh, those of you who know and have been there or are there in the depths of it, you will know that it's massively um, affects your sleep, does the menopause. Um, so really be interested again to know what it is that keeps you from having that good night's sleep. But where are we tomorrow? I've got another nutritional challenge for you. And this is one of my favourites. Um, and it's quite a fun one to do because we're going to share some recipes. Tomorrow, I want you to do an overnight oats challenge. Oats are so good for us. And I find starting your day, and not everybody starts their day with an early breakfast. You don't have to have breakfast the minute you wake up. If you are not hungry when you wake up, why would you put food into your system only to possibly spike your insulin levels, which what that does is it puts you on this hunger train for the day. So actually, if you get up and you're not hungry, wait until later that morning and have your first meal then. I mean, the tips to starting your day are 100% when you wake up, you drink a glass of water before anything else. Get your hydration on board. That is, I'd say, a really number one tip. Um, and then if you are going to have some form of breakfast early morning or late morning, it doesn't matter. Overnight oats is a brilliant way to start your day because they are so nutritious. Straight away, you are going to be getting your vitamins, your minerals, your fibre, um, carbohydrates, protein. It's got the lot in there. And if you don't like, if you're not a porridge type of person, overnight no, oats is a really, um, it's, it gives you more variety and allows you to put different recipes together so it becomes fun and I actually get my boys involved with this we create different overnight recipes when we have the time so that's what I want you to do you know one of the things in oats also is fiber it keeps you fuller for longer and that's really what we're looking for we're looking not to snack when we're trying to shift some pounds when we're trying to eat sensibly and again in create some healthy habits then keeping having a meal that's going to keep you fuller for longer is going to be really beneficial to you um, so the fiber it promotes good gut bacteria um, because it levels out your blood sugar levels. So by having that first thing, we'll keep those sugar levels at a really good balance so that you can wait another three, four hours before your next meal, rather than having something like a sugary cereal um, in the morning, which will spike your insulin levels, your sugar levels, and therefore I'll give it an hour and you'll probably be hungry again. And it puts you on that sugar train whereby then you start to snack. So overnight's oat challenge is tomorrow's challenge, Google, have a look at some recipes. They're really easy. You only need to soak them really for a couple of hours. And the reason behind soaking them is it just stops you having to cook them. So if you don't fancy warm porridge, overnight oats is cook, um, soak them in the milk or your milk alternative in the fridge for two hours overnight if, if possible, be much nicer. And there you've got your first meal for the day. I'm gonna put up a couple of links also. Um, let me know what you make and share some pictures with the group. Um, and don't forget, this is day, yes it is, it's day five challenge. So you'll have probably listened to this on the evening, possibly of day four. So don't forget, you don't have to make these overnight no oats until the evening of day five. So you've got the whole day to think about it, prep for it. And then you've got a lovely breakfast ready to start your day six.